get to the nitty gritty, man. Diddy house got raided uh, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Both houses. Right. And so yeah. as, as of the time of us making this video, it is what, Tuesday? Tuesday. March 26th. 26th. So we're talking about Monday the 25th? Correct. Okay. Yep, yep. So his houses, both houses, because he got a house in L.A., mm -hmm. in Miami, and probably other places too, but those two specifically got raided. I think a couple of his family members got uh, taken in. Uh, I think what's his name? Justin, his, his Yeah, son. two of his sons and one of his daughters. Uh, King Comb. Um, I can't think of That's his real name, but King Comb is his stage name. Mm -hmm. And a couple of his daughters, you say? No, it was two of his sons and one of his daughters. One of his daughters? Yeah. Oh, one of the twins? Uh, I don't know. Well, I guess. Okay. Yeah, okay. whatever one of the daughters was. Okay. Yeah. I know he got twins, so I, right. don't, I don't know his whole family tree as far as children go. But he got raided, and we, we, this is not the first time we talk about Diddy on here. We've been talking about Diddy at least once or twice yeah. this season, at least. Yeah. You know what I mean, at least, at least once or twice. So he's. Uh, yeah, because we talked about him with the whole Cassie situation. Yeah. Then we talked about it again with the. Uh, what was that? I was talking. We were talking about Dylan. And the, says because the male producer yeah. said, you know, the stuff. Yeah. And then uh, now this, you know, again. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. We can't make this up. Like, that's what that's what's happening. Like, right. we not doing this, y'all. Yeah. That's we're, what's happening. We're just the messengers, man, you know. And obviously, if you want to get political with it, everything is um, alleged until he's proven guilty. Right. But let's keep it 100, though. The feds ain't coming to your house, ain't raiding your house, unless they got some type of evidence, somebody to snitch, you got some papers, you got some digital, like they just don't be raided, and they raided, I heard they raided both of the houses at the same time, so it couldn't be like they raided the L.A. house, and then somebody in L.A., they made they raided the house, no, they raided them at the same time. Yeah, it was coordinated, you like know what I mean? SWAT teams and all yeah. that. So, you know, it ain't looking good. Ain't looking good for Brother Love. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I saw our good boy, uh, good brother, uh, Veli. You know, he made, a, he made a comment. I think he was just talking about, you know, he hate people taking the joy out of, you know, somebody else's downfall. I think mm -hmm. he made, like, something like that, you know. Which, I mean, I, I get the premise of it. But for me personally, I, I'm kind of smiling and laughing just because, I follow 50 Cent on Instagram. You know, oh, you know what I'm 50 saying? gonna be trolling. You know what I mean? If 50, if, if you're not following 50 Cent on Instagram, he has been troll, trolling Diddy for the last, it's been a while. Like, I don't know the beef that they had, or, you mm -hmm. know, whatever. It's been years. So it ain't just fresh. Like, it's been years. So he been, he been getting on him, man. Cause he actually the first person, I didn't even know his house got raided. Until I saw it on Instagram on Fifty Cent's page. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I, yeah. So he he's he he was on top of it, and so after that, then I Googled it. Then I'm like, oh yeah, he he being for real. But yeah, so he his house got raided, and uh, I just saw something now that, um, his uh, his phones, his electronics got seized. Oh. Yeah. All his electronics or whatever, uh, got seized and stuff too. Uh, now I don't know if this was true or not, but. They were saying that he was uh, trying to flee the flee the country and go to another country that didn't have uh, U.S. jurisdiction. Oh, so right, they just right, can't right. really no extradition go. policy yeah, where they got to bring him back. Extradition. There you go. Mm -hmm. They're actually trying to uh, investigate him for sex trafficking. Right. You know what I mean? So it's not you know, it's, it's, and that's a lot involved in that too. So it's just not yeah. necessarily like okay, you selling you know what I'm saying like being like a pimp, but it's sex trafficking is like more in detail. It's other stuff. Kind of like in how we were talking about with the Vince McMahon stuff. Yeah. Like where yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you got somebody in your employ, but you're yep. basically using them as like a, uh, for lack of a better choice of words, like a sex slave. You're passing them around. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what he did with Cassie. What, what Cassie was trying to say. Right. That's what she was stuff. insinuating. Yeah. Um, I've always said, like, and this has been my thing, you know, and I, I got taught this at a young age. Like, I'll never forget. Um, and I said this before on the pod, like I was in the fourth grade and like they used to bring, we had lunch, but then like they would bring like the the snack cart around, you know what I'm saying? And so like if you want a snack, it'd be like some cookies and milk or some fruit and some milk or whatever. But now, you know, you know, I'm lactose intolerant. Like, 
yeah. with oh, milk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't yeah. really do milk like yeah. cheese, but ice cream I don't really do that a lot. Yeah. But so like I definitely ain't getting no milk. But like some of my classmates they had stole, you know, off the milk cart. I saw it. You know, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I saw it, but I ain't participate. So long and short of it, they find out milk missing. Who did it? Oh, it was the boys that did it. And so, like, I'm the new kids. It's like, oh, and I'm the only black one, too. Yeah. So it's like, oh, well, you had to be involved in it. So uh-huh. everybody else is like, oh, yeah, it was all of us. I'm like, it wasn't me. And they like, oh, no, we all finna get in trouble. I'm like, all right, look, I can't speak for nobody else. Roche didn't steal nothing. Uh-huh. And so they kept, the principal kept saying, look, just, just go on and admit it, and then you can go back to class. So I was just like, look, I'm sick of being in here. All right, yeah, I did it, too. So, uh-huh. of course, I get tagged by my grandma. Because my grandma, like, why you said, I'm like, I ain't still, why you lying and say you stole it? They said I could go back to class. I was just trying to go back to class. To go back to class yeah. So, of course, when I get back to the crib, you know, Pops oh, it lit into me too. But the point he was making, it ain't because you stole. If you didn't steal, you didn't steal. But you should have, it would have been better for you to get in trouble for doing right. Because cause if you if you didn't steal and they would have got on you and you, didn't, you was innocent, we'd have been up there and handled it. But but that little, you know, one lick, two licks you would have got from the principal pales in comparison to the tan that I got from my grandma and my pops. Of course. But he was like, Man, if you innocent, man, go to go to death row being innocent. Yeah. Don't don't get don't be walking around free and have everybody thinking you guilty. And so I brought that up to say if Diddy is innocent, like with the Cassie thing and, and with other people, you're settling out of court. So even if you're innocent, what you're making people think is now you're an easy target. So now and you at some point you ain't gonna wanna pay everybody and then guess what happens when you don't wanna pay everybody? Now they start doing that stuff. Yeah. 